Welcome back to another Skyblock, Hypixel Skyblock tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily beat Sven Tier Fours um, without too much investment. Because I, I struggled to do this one, because you know, in mid game, like with all the other Sven bosses and Slayer bosses, uh, you just if you follow the normal game's progression, you just end up with the resources to do it, anyways. But with two foils, I struggled. So, uh, I'm gonna show you what you need and how to do it. So, let's jump right in. So, the first thing you need is you're gonna need a full set of Fierce Master Farmer. And we use this because if it's perk. So, I'm just, you know, I'm just casually have 34,000 effective mats, ma max HP right now. So, uh, the second piece that we need is a spicy shaman shoid because this adds plus one damage per 50 max health and because you know we have so much health we're gonna have we're gonna do a lot of damage um uh Bunan's bow to help get wolf kills radiant orb um to help um the other thing you have to make sure is that all your talismans are reforged to hurtful because this gives you more crit damage, uh, which more more crit damage is more health, more health, more damage. Okay. So the uh, I also have a tip around forging your talisman to full. It is gonna make your damage a lot less, but for spend two fours is what you need. So I would recommend waiting till Aatrox is mayor, um, and then doing it. Because it's kind of annoying to be constantly changing your talisman before just so I'm just gonna show you my boss. I'm gonna run over here to the castle. Now I actually prefer to do my spends at the castle because I find the howling cave wolves, they have a lot of health. I mean I can always one tap with the sword, but I can't one tap with the bow, and that just bugs me because I like to just kinda jump around. My Renans, just have to take all of them out. Also, if you can't afford Renans bow, would highly recommend Explosive Bow. It's very good because it just it it does this big wide explosion thing as the name suggests. And it's actually really it, it works kinda perfectly here because like that took out both of them. I think it's the noise is kind of not obnoxious, so it's up to you. But can't afford Bunans, but really, you know, I mean, everybody should be able to get Bunan. So I'm just gonna get the kills, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh yeah, also one more thing. Uh, mini bosses, you shouldn't really struggle. The only way to struggle with is like the um equivalent to deformed revenant. Um, but you can just lure him into the water and that. You should be able to do it. Oh, also, I am also using uh, an ornate zombie sword. It's really useful. Zombie ornate zombie sword would highly recommend for slayers, especially Spens. So as you can see, I'm a few kills away from having the boss spawn, and actually as a great example, I just got a Sven Alpha, which is the one that I was talking about earlier, and it being mildly, yeah, like this one might, you might have a little bit of trouble with, because he just does so much damage, but if you have an ornate zombie sword, and uh, a griffin pet is what I'm using. Griffin also gives you a lot of damage, which is really, really nice. Let's see so, like there. So, 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 so. The boss is gonna spawn. I'm gonna lure him over here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get in the water. Get in the water. Get in the water. Okay. I'm 
Get this one more radiant orb. And then we're just gonna whack him. And you wanna make sure to let him hit you every 15 seconds or so. So that he doesn't start to space you. Know, I mean, un until he's below one male health, once, once he calls the pups, uh, you're fine to not let him hit you again. There, he's going to pups, so now, set, we can just go in and just whack him a bunch of times. This... up my tutorial on how to beat Svenger Force. Uh, so, till next time, bye bye.